So I kind of chuckled because all of the different modes for driving, whether it be regular or sport, or there's another guy taking pictures. So he's got a BMW M car and he's taking pictures of my vehicle. Uh, but back to the, the different drive modes, it's Strata, Sport, Corsa, Sabia, Terra, and Neve. I, mean, I think I'm saying it right. If I'm not, I apologize. You can write nasty notes down below. But I had to get an Italian translation done and I put it over the word and it translated for me. So I knew what was each boat. Sport is like, duh, but the rest of it didn't make a lot of sense until you started looking for some big race. Um, on the left side is this lever, which you would think would say something else, but it says ego. Yeah, ego is about it. You can lower the car, which I think is totally cool. You can change the suspension settings and change the steering settings. Yeah, it's about ego. There's a lot of ego in this car. When you drive this car, the looks are just saying it all. Because people look at you with either jealousy or they hate you, <laughs> which is funny. This car literally has everything from the massaging seats to you name it. This kind of blows me away that it's such a, a, a mixture of performance, luxury, and some serious balls. A lot of Audi A8 in here. I see a lot of Porsche Cayenne in here. It's like they went to the tool shed and said, I need some of that. I'll take one from column A, two from column B. It's very much uh, a lot of parts, but there's the Lamborghini look of this car is what makes that's what you're buying. Let's not kid ourselves. You're buying the bull on the front of the car. You're buying this cool, freaking, edgy looking SUV that makes people go, I want it. I'm jealous. That looks like the one in the game. It's amazing. The feedback from this car has been crazy. I don't think you get that same feedback with a Bentley. I mean, it's a great car, don't get me wrong, with Ventega. But this has just got everything. If you're looking at audio, I'm not the biggest audio file, but I do really respect the high-end Bangalore's audio system. We'll crank the tunes in a little bit. I got a long ride in front of me, but uh, I will tell you this, the fuel economy ain't so great. It's like 12 miles to the gallon. But right now on the highway, I'm getting 18. Woo it ain't no hybrid. But then again, that's okay. I'm, I'm good with that. Um, but when you put the different drive modes, you get just a different experience. I will tell you something that I find frustrating because it doesn't make sense on your daily driver. When you have to park it someplace, you put it in reverse, you lift up the whole housing that's around the start and stop button, and it goes into reverse like any vehicle. And there's a park button on the left, and there's a manual button on the right, and you can drive it in automatic mode. In order to move forward, you gotta pull the lever that's on the right side, which is the plus, because the one on the left is the minus, so obviously up and down shifts, but if you got the steering wheel at a funky angle, you have to get the steering wheel straight in order to hit it. Otherwise, you're kind of doing this cross your body kind of thing. It's kind of weird. Uh, there's got to be another way to put it into drive without making it complicated. I know Ferraris are like that too. My father's had a bunch of Ferraris. I've had cars like that, but it just makes it more challenging. I'm just, give me a manual transmission. Stop screwing around this paddle ship crap. I'm a member of this exotics group. And we have the coolest cars. Everyone brings your cool cars together. We've all become friends. We all have some really awesome vehicles. And we put together a little get together on Sunday for everyone to have a chance to drool on this car. Here's what they thought. I'm liking it. I like the color, I like the feel. Awesome. Get the sports car feel. <laughs> it's literally like a sit in a massage chair. Give it a rev. Yeah, I'm leaning on it. I can feel it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's really it's super great. comfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah nice, it's nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Lumbar support. <laughs> She's got a Stelvio, and this one's got more leg room than yeah, the oh, yeah. Stelvio does, yeah. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Ooh, comfy. Yeah. <laughs> wow, oh my god, look at this thing. I know that Lamborghini made things like, you know, an SUV. Oh, the seats. Oh my god, they're gorgeous and comfortable. They what do you think? You want to take one? Very, I would love it. <laughs> love it. Very nice. Put some snows on it, you'll be fine. I can rev it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, was that the exhaust? Yeah. <laughs> so what did you do? I put it in Corsa. I'm going to rev it. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I saw this on uh, I saw it on Fox and Friends. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> it was on the news. <laughs> already really is so smooth to ride in just regular strata mode put it into sport mode just sounds so good wakes you right up that's for damn sure and of course the massaging seats i found that as well really nice filled it up with gas of course i stopped by your typical gas station three or four people came by kids knew exactly what the vehicle was there was a guy in a car full of hysterically goes oh my gosh that's a yours because you must be famous and i went oh uh, that's a matter of opinion but i thought it was hysterical had a lot of people come driving around me you know speeding up slowing down a lot of thumbs up a lot of kids so don't let anyone tell you that people don't like cars that's total bullshit people love cars and they love this lamborghini urus it is freaking cool all right here's some thoughts on my long drive my seven hour drive you can get in a lot of trouble in this car if you're not paying attention and that doesn't mean it's the fault of the car it's the fault of the driver because i look down and i find myself doing in the high 80s and then i see a police officer and let me tell you the brakes work they work really good and uh, when it's time to get up and go, man, there's nothing like putting your foot on the pedal and watching this huge, almost 5,000 pound SUV just squat and go. And it goes, just like if you bought it in an Aventador or any other totally awesome Lamborghini. Well done, thumbs up. What an experience driving the Lamborghini Urus. I want to thank Lamborghini for letting us use their vehicle for five days. We had it on Fox and Friends. We took it to an exotics meet. We stopped a lot of places and everybody loved it. What a phenomenal experience. You have to try one yourself. If you want to check out some of our other videos, they're over here. Social media is down below. We'll be driving the new Corvette. That review is coming up very soon. If you want to follow us, it's at Car Smarts. Or if you want to follow me, it's at Lauren Fix on all forms of social media. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.